I'm observing the M42, the Great Orion Nebula. I used the Nagler 31 take 5 and I'm now using the Teleview Ethos 21mm. But the best image I've seen was with this cheap Chinese unbranded 26mm 2 inch eyepiece. <laughs> you get it from AliExpress probably. It was £10, £20. And that is a lot of money. This one is a price of a fridge. Modern fridge. And yet this gives a brighter image, better image. Contrasty, lovely. The stars in this 26 mm unbranded Chinese eyepiece appear as uh, diamonds on a velvet, black velvet. And you can see so much wispiness in the nebula. You don't see that in the ethos. And the field of view is actually wider, or appears is wider. I can see more of the, you know, north and south of the nebula, those beautiful stars which are around this uh, nebula. That's amazing. <laughs> oh God, what you can get with a little bit of money, you know? The best eyepieces are yet the puzzles. Um, Al Nagler told once uh, when he was tr trying to explain that how they uh, you know increase the uh, eye relief of the Nagler they told that they massage it I think that the Teleview the best eyepieces they have ever built was their plus holes and then they massaged the plus hole and <laughs> extended it stretched it to make the Nagler, then they make the Ethers, then make the uh, Delos and uh, Delight and uh, all the other <laughs> eyepieces that it's just all around uh, this design of the puzzle that they, they had. It's a little bit embarrassing, but the Teleview Ethers 21 cost as much as a big American fridge and uh, it's quite expensive for the what it can do you can get a better one and this 26 angel eyes which is unbranded in this case just a box of chocolate a good quality box of chocolate 15 20 pounds that's that's all will cost you and gives you nice views as you see